Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and uh, back to our JavaScript series. I hope you guys are enjoying my JavaScript series on YouTube. So today we are going to talk a very simple concept that is uh, different string manipulation or string methods. So for example, let's see if I have a string. So let's say I'm directly printing that uh, console.log and I'm going to create a string here within the double quote and, and I'm writing let's see JavaScript here. Okay. And on this particular string, I can apply a number of methods. So here you can see that character at so many methods are there, right? We will see some important methods here. So first method that we are going to talk about that how to capture the length of the string. So obviously every time I'm not going to count it. So here, if you see that the length of the string will start from zero the zero is the lowest index zero one two three four five six seven eight nine so zero to nine how many characters are there it means the length of the string will be 10. so when i run this here and then you are getting 10 here so you can apply anything tomorrow if i'm writing let's see javascript testing and then again more characters that I have added now, including the space also, it will capture the length. So simple dot length that you have to use it here. Simple. Now, if you really want to create in a variable that also you can create it. So for example, let's say I'm going to create a, a simple variable. Let's see variable str is equal to here. I'm writing a Naveen and then I'm writing that give me the console dot log. And then here I'm writing str dot length. So whatever the length of this Naveen string will be given to you here. So you can apply directly on the string or you can apply on the variable also. Simple. Now I'll do one thing. We will apply, we will start using directly on the specific string. So let's see if I ask you that what exactly the JavaScript and I don't want to use this particular dot length here and I'm directly using an array and I'm saying that tell me the position of second index. So if you see this carefully, that this is a JavaScript return with the combination of multiple characters. So internally, can I say it's a kind of array or you can say a kind of character array. So this is zero, this is one, and this is two. So it will give you V. Always remember, we have to start the counting from the zero, one, and two. On second position, V is available. So it will give you V here. So here you can see V is getting printed on the console. Perfect. So you can directly use it here as well. But if you really want to check using character at method, that also we can have it. So I'm writing once again that in double quote. So let's write once again JavaScript. And uh, there is one method that you can use this method in other programming languages like Java. Also, we have this particular method. So I'm saying, tell me the character at. <clears throat> it means tell me the character on a specific position. So again, I'm writing two. In that case, also, it will give you v over here so let's run it and let's see v right so on second position it's giving me this one right so if i'm saying that tell me what is the value available on the fifth position so in that case when i run it it's giving me c over here and you can check it that this is zero one two three four five so c is available here but if i ask you that okay tell me the character available on the 10th position. So what is the length? The maximum length is zero to nine. It means if I'm going beyond nine, so let's see what is the value available on 10. Is it giving me some error or undefined or something like this? So here it's not giving me anything here. You can see on 10th position, we don't have anything. So for example, if I write, let's see 15 also here, in that case, it is not giving me anything here. You can see right so character on 15 nothing is available so make sure that okay you are trying to fetch the value within the highest index and within the <clears throat> lowest index to the highest index so zero to whatever the last character is available we can just fetch only that particular value same thing if i really want to check that character code at method is also available so you can simply apply that console.log output and then uh, Let's use this particular JavaScript very uh, value once again. And then there is another method character code at. So see, it returns a Unicode value. It means it will return the specific ASCII value of the character on a specific position. So if I'm saying that character at <coughs> code at tell me on the second position, right? So first it will calculate on second position what is available. 
on second position this is zero this is one and this is two right so in the ascii table right the range of small a to small z it is what 97 to 122 so this is a range and let's see character code at two so it means again zero one two it means for the v what is the ascii value is there so for v ascii value will be 118 so let's run it and let's see here you are getting 118 here right because obviously if z is 122 then you can check that for v will be coming at 118 simple so this method also you can directly use it here then there are a couple of other methods also that you can directly use that to lowercase or uppercase also so let's see if i'm really writing that convert this entire javascript to the lowercase so you can just use this particular method to lowercase and when i run this so everything will be converted into the lowercase here that javascript dot to lowercase or as a method we have to use it and then run it again so here you can see javascript coming in the lowercase same thing if i really want to use it with the uppercase that also you can use it so i'm writing to uppercase with the method sign and then run it again so everything will be converted into uppercase here like that <laughs> okay now I'm going to tell you a couple of other important functions also here that, uh, for example, let's see if I'm writing console.output and then I'm writing that uh, JavaScript once again, dot slice method that I'm going to use. See this, the concept of slice. And if I'm writing in this particular slice that give me the value between two to minus five. So what is the meaning of that? So here you can see that uh, slice method starting index and the ending number index we have to give it the index to the end of the specified portion of the string object the substring includes a character up to but not including right so this is just like a substring method and if you're writing with the slice method and two two minus five so i'll do one thing just to understand this see this carefully what i'm writing i'm writing javascript here okay let's see i'm just writing in the form of comment section and then if you see this this actually j is starting from where j is starting from zero and then this is one, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, seven, eight, and nine. So T is actually available on the ninth position. So in JavaScript, the slicing is also possible. So whatever the index of T, the index of T nine, but at the same time, the index of T will be minus one also. So here this, you can go from the back direction also from the opposite direction also it means you can just start from the end so t is minus one also and then minus two minus three minus four and minus five so what is the position of c the position of c is what is equal to minus five and if you go in the positive index also it is also with the five same thing if i ask you that what is the position of t so position of t is equal to what nine and you can say minus one also here right so always start with the zero in left to right direction and whenever you have to go from right to left direction you have to start with the minus one right so that's why it's asking that slice between two to minus five right a slightly tricky interview question so remember two to minus five so i'll do one thing i'll start from here zero one two so i got what i got v here and then say up to minus five but don't include minus five remember it's up to minus five, but don't include the last index. So minus five is for what C it means don't include the C. It means it will give you a S also. So it will start from V and then a then S, but don't include C because C is available on the minus five position. So output will be V a and capital S, right? So let's run it. Is it really giving me the right output, the same output or not? So here you can see, yes, V a S we are getting it. So remember slicing is possible the same thing is not possible in java but in javascript slicing is possible two to minus five so always start with the minus one from the last value okay in the right to left direction you have to perfect but what if i really want to use the substring method so in substring method a normal method for example let's see if i'm writing a uh, same method here but this time i'm using with the substring so instead of slice I'll write that uh, substring method. See, substring method is also available. And the substring method, I'll say that uh, you give me from minus two to five. 
let's understand with the positive value. Let's see, I'm saying that you give me from two to six. It means between two to six, but don't include six. Whatever the values are available, give me that SC. Okay. Simple. Whatever the calculation that you have to do it. So it will give you VA SC six. You have to exclude. Remember, right? So see this once again, this is zero. This is one and then two. It means we have to start from here. So two, three, four, and then five. Don't take six index value. So I'm excluding R from here. So V A S C will be given over here. Simple. Okay. But what if I'm writing substring with the negative index? Is it possible? So for example, I'm writing minus two, two, uh, let's see five. So minus two, two, five, how exactly it will, how exactly will it take? Or let's see minus two, 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 how exactly it will take? See, whenever in the substring, if you're writing any negative index, so all the negative index will be converted into zero, right? So if I'm saying minus two to two, so in that case, we are expecting zero to two actually, because minus two will be converted into zero. So in that case, whatever, but don't include the second value, same formula, zero and one. So it will give you what? It will give you J and A, right? So output should be what? The output should be capital J and A over here. So let's run it and let's see. So here you can see J and A simple. So remember in substring method, <coughs> negative index will be first. We have to convert to zero. All the negative index will be converted to zero. But in the slicing method, you have to go in the left to right direction and the right to left direction for the negative index. Remember that is very, very important in JavaScript. Okay. Now after substring method, we have a other methods also, let's see, for example, I really want to concatenate two things. So for example, let's see, I have a, a Naveen and then I'm writing that dot concat and then concat with what? So concat with any other string here. So let's see, for example, I'm writing automation. So Naveen dot concat automation, and then it will give you what Naveen automation here. If you really want to put a space, you can put a space also, then it will be printed with a space here that Naveen space automation you want to write some more concatenation that again you can write that okay let's write that concat here and then again uh, put a space and then let's say i'm writing laps so in that case it will give you naveen automation laps like this simple so concat also you can use it here do we have any split method of course we have the split method also available so how to use how to use a split so see for example let's see i have one okay let's create a variable here Let's create a variable. Let's see the uh, language variable, which is equal to some languages are written. Let's see Java underscore uh, Java uh, script underscore uh, Python. And then on this particular lang dot split method, you can apply here and it says a split on the basis of what a split on the basis of underscore. And always remember a split method or a split function will return the array. See, you can say a string. Uh, split a string into substring using a specified separator and returns them as an array, right? So can I say if split method is giving me the array and let's store it in some variable. So for example, let's see, this is my, um, another variable that I'm writing, let's see air variable, which is like this. And then if I say that, okay, let's print a R R what is the value available on the zeroth position. So on zeroth position means split on the basis of underscore. So this underscore will be removed and Java is available on zero. This is one and this is two, right? So when I run this, so see for zero, we are getting Java here. Same thing. If I ask you that, what is the value is available on zero, one and two. So on two Python is available. So see this, it says Python is available, but at the same time, if I'm saying what is the value is available on the fifth index as such, there is no fifth index. In that case, it's started giving me undefined here. Simple. So remember that do not go beyond the range of the array. So 0, 1, 2. So it means between 0, 1, 2, we can access all the values. Right. So this is a simple split. We can use it here. So there are other things also. Let's see. I'm writing another thing. You really want to do some validations here that, for example, I'm writing that that JavaScript dot includes method is also available. That does it include double code Java. So it will return true or false. If it is including, it will give you true. Otherwise it will give you false. So yeah, it's returning a true here, but the same time, if I'm writing that, does it include hello here? 
it does not include hello then in that case it will start giving me false here so you can see the false is coming <clears throat> simple so includes method also sometimes very important to validate something here do we have any replace here let's try that so for example let's see i have this see replace is slightly different here and uh, something like this so dev test framework let's see i have written and i want that replace the dev with what with the js so let's see this is what i have written hmm. so in that case it will go and check the dev will be replaced by js here so you can see that js test framework right so for example let's see if i'm writing another dev here will it replace the second value also let's try that so see when i run it again it says that okay no only first dev will be replaced with that so remember the moment it finds the first dev it will replace only that particular value only so for example if i'm removing it so it will check test framework and then now the second dev i mean the dev is coming after framework so then this particular dev will be replaced with js over here remember this thing but what if i really want to replace everything right so let's say I really want to replace both the devs. In that case, you have to use replace all method. That's it. That's why it's slightly different as compared to Java. So here we are going to use all. And then I'm saying that replace all the devs with the JS. That is the basic difference between replace and the replace all. You can say JS test framework, JS here. Simple. That's it. So sometimes it can be very useful. For example, let's see, I'm going to use replace all method for a date. So date is I'm getting 01, 01, 1990, and I'm writing that all the hyphens, I want the output with the one forward slash, right? So in that case, I want the date output will be like this, that uh, 01, sorry, not dev, I have to write hyphen here. All the hyphen I want to replace with the one forward slash. So let's run it again. So here you can see 01 hyphen, sorry, forward slash 01 forward slash 1990. So all the hyphens will be replaced with the forward slash here, right? So now I can change the date format simple like this. Also, we can do it here. So this is also replace and the replace all. Do we have any trim? Of course we have that. So let's start with a trim. So let's see, for example, I'm putting some space and then I'm writing, let's see, hello, uh, hello JS. And then I'm putting some space over here and then I'm writing dot trim. So see this three methods are there trim means trim method means remove all the spaces before and after so this space also will be gone and this space also will be gone but it will not touch this particular space which is coming between two words or two strings so only the corner spaces will be removed here so see this hello js is gone so before h space is gone after s space is gone but if you really want to replace only the before space so see this trim start method is there and then you just need to use the start method here trim start so from the beginning start uh, space will be gone but here you can see here this space is still there can you see the space here but at line number 38 whatever the output we are getting see i'm not able to get the space here same thing if i really want to use a trim a trim end that also you can use it here so here i'm going to use trim end method and it means remove the spaces from the end. So now it will remove the space from here, but before H space is there. Can you see? Like this. So if you really want to remove both the spaces, use trim first space, initial space, then use start and end space. We have to use trim end there. Super simple. Okay. Then there is uh, the concept of padding also. Sometimes if it is really useful in your use case, that also you can use it. For example, let's see. I have um, one string here, right? So for example, let's see my string is Naveen here. And I really want to add some padding. Padding means some characters. Let's say I really want to add before Naveen, right? So I'll do one thing dot pad start method or end method is available. Okay. So this is called the padding. It means, for example, let's see if I'm writing only a uh, dev, right? Or let's see whatever you want to write. So in this particular dev, how many characters are there? Three, one, two, three. So I say that, okay, padding, uh, end and with what and with a star, right? So here, first of all, it says that first you have to give me a number and then the string over here. So I'm saying that, okay, I want 10 stars. Okay. Star will be in the double code that you have to write. So what will happen in that case that 
up to 10, I have to add the star, not 10 stars exactly. So see, three characters are already there. So how many stars it will add? So it will start adding seven more stars, right? So let's run it and let's see. So here you can see that one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven more stars will be added. So I want that total length will be, you can say 10. And then three hours are already available. I mean, three characters are already available. It means I need seven more. So it was like 10 minus three. So if I say that, okay, one more I have added. So it will start adding 10 minus four. It means only six stars or six padding. It will do three plus three, six. You can see it here. So let's see if I'm writing double up. So three plus three or four plus three, seven, right? So 10 minus seven, it will add only three stars. See, only three stars. So again, I'm writing developer. So what we have written, and then let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 10 minus nine is equal to one. So now it will add only one star here, right? So let's see if I'm writing T also. It means all 10 characters I have already added. Then I'm asking that uh, 10. So 10 minus 10, zero. So zero stars will be added here. So here you can see zero stars. Right. So like this, so let's see if I'm making it 20, it means again, 20 minus a 10. So 10 stars will be added once again here. So this is a basic simple formula that we have to use it here. Okay. So I'm making it again back to dev only. And then I'm saying that a 10 here. So 10 minus three, seven stars will be added here. Remember simple formula, 10 minus three, same thing. If you really want to, uh, add the padding in the beginning. So you just simple write pad start. Okay, so now before dev seven stars formula will remain same 10 minus three is equal to seven, seven stars will be added before the dev. So like this, you can just simply add the uh, padding also. So pad end method and pad start method, you have to use it here. Remember that. Okay. Then there are a couple of other functions also. For example, let's see if I'm writing that uh, once again, here I'm writing that JavaScript dot starts with method is also available. Is it really starting with what? Is starting with the J or not? Yes, it is starting with capital J. So in that case, if I run it, it will give you true or false. So if it is a starting, it will give you true. Otherwise, it will give you false. So same thing we have uh, ends with method is also available. Let's try that. So here I'm writing that <clears throat> ends with. Is it really ending with J? No, it's ending with uh, T. So it will start giving me uh, false here. So you can see false here. So if I'm writing, let's see a T here in that case, let's run it again. So it's giving me a uh, true here. Simple. Okay. But if I'm writing that, okay, it is really ending with the script, a complete string that I'm writing. Is it really ending with the script? Let's try that. So for a script, it's giving me true. Yes, because this is actually ending with the script here, right? So for example, let's see, I have written Java script like this. So there are two words are there in this particular string. This string is ending with the uh, script. Yes, it is actually ending with the script. Okay. So true or false, it will return. So this is also very simple. Then there are other things also that repeat method is also available that what we can do that console dot output. And uh, here I'm writing dev dot a repeat method, I can use it and then I can create, let's see, three times I want to repeat this particular dev. So when you run this, here you can see dev, dev, dev is coming three times. Okay. So this is also there. So just like character at, we learned about that character means character on a specific position. So do we have the index of index of a specific character that is also uh, there? So for example, let's see if I'm writing console dot Let's see Naveen automation labs, right? And then I'm writing that. Give me the index of what? Give me the index of automation. Do we have automation? So it will calculate the index. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Automation is getting started from seventh position. So it's giving me seven here, right? So same thing. If I'm asking that, tell me the position of N. So it's a starting with zero. So it will give you zero here. So you can get a specific character also or a specific complete string also. But if I'm asking that, do we have uh, 
js here in naveen automation labs no it's not there so in that case what exactly it will return it will start returning me minus one so this is something very important remember if something is not available it will start giving you minus one okay so there is one more method that is called last index of method also we can check it here so for example let's see naveen automation labs and then one more naveen is there so naveen is coming two times so what we can use it here that last index of method it means give me the position of the last naveen right because when you write simple naveen automation labs index of only naveen then in that case it will give you the position of the first naveen but if i'm saying that position of the second naveen in that case it will start giving you the position of the second naveen which is 23 here right like this so last index of method also you can use it here okay so there is one search method is also available the search method will give you that what is the where exactly the specific keyword or specific value is available and uh, instead of index of i'm writing search method and i'm saying that search for automation okay so let's say i'm writing search for uh, automation and uh, run it again so search for automation the search method is again giving you seven here so index of method also you can use it this is also giving me seven and this is also giving me seven so dot search method also you can use it here right includes that we have already i think we have already seen it here that includes also you can check it for that purpose so these are the different uh, string manipulation methods are available guys just try it very straightforward remember a specific thing like slice how exactly it works the concept of slicing concept of substring uh, splitting trimming replace replace all starts with ends with repeat method index of method last index of method search method uppercase lowercase these are the important methods are available so if you see that after dot press control space there are various other methods also available but i covered almost like all most all the uh, most of the important uh, methods that i've already covered if you really want to see some more you can just check it later by your own so that's all for this particular video i hope it's clear thank you so much guys